YouTubers, my name is Kevin, and I'm on my way to uh, Port O'Connor, Texas. I'm gonna do some fishing, and I actually realized that I've been doing a lot of fishing lately. Uh, I moved down south uh, from Dallas, Fort Worth to Victoria, Texas last year, and I really love fishing out at the sea rather than freshwater. <laughs> Um, and uh, a while back I caught the biggest fish in my life, not including sharks, I mean, I've caught larger sharks, but fish-wise, that fish that you, you'd like to keep, I don't like to keep shark. Um, I don't have a couple of them cooked them. But anyway, uh, I caught myself a red drum that was 37 inches, and my god, they were so fun, and I can't get enough of them. So I'm going back and I'm going to try to catch even more. Uh, that same day I caught, uh, or I kept, 19 gaff top catfish that were between 19 and 24 inches long. Uh, so the average was about 21 inches uh, long gaff tops. And I filleted them up and I cut them up and cooked them. Oh my God, it was so good. Uh, my family loved it, my wife and kids, you know, they, they were loving that. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a lot more fishing. I'll be going every week. I've been blessed to be able to work from home. I've been working from home for many, many years now since I got out of the, the Navy. And, you know, just because I was in the Navy doesn't mean I like being on the boat. Uh, and not that I mind it. It's just that I don't like fishing from the boat. I like uh, fishing from piers, jetties, the bank, uh, things like that. Just because it's a lot less of a hassle. Uh, so I'll be doing a lot of that. I'm going to go to a lot of different locations every week. I'll be going to Port of Honor, of course. Uh, I'll be going back many times. But uh, Port Aransas, uh, Port Lavaca, Rockport. Uh, so a lot of different locations. Even, uh, what's that place called? Is it Palacio? Palacios? Somebody could correct me on how to pronounce that properly. Um, and just put that to rest finally. <laughs> because I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, so I'm driving right now. I'll be there uh, soon. Hopefully in the half hour I'll be there. So I'm going to really enjoy my times out there. I know some of you like to watch uh, fishing videos, you know, just because you miss those times. You want to be close to the sea, go to the water, or maybe it's a location that you've been to before, or you're interested in going. And so that's what I'd like to do for you guys, to record these moments, and so that you can share it with me. Uh, maybe even correct me on some things and help me out, because I'm going to learn how to do uh, fishing with lures. I was never really good at it. I used it here and there, but I'm more of a live bait, cut bait type of uh, fisherman. Um, and I enjoyed that because I caught lots and lots of fish doing that. Mullets, my favorite bait. Okay? Uh, shrimp's my next one, but they get eaten up by small fish all the time, so I don't like using it as often. Uh, but it does happen. But anyway, you know, I look forward to sharing these moments with you guys. And you guys helping me out, uh, teaching me some things, or maybe I'll teach you some things. Uh, and share some ideas, but you know, I go so often, I might as well, right? Uh, I can't imagine life without fishing, uh, so <laughs> that's sort of why I started this uh, YouTube channel. You know, life without fishing is crazy, uh, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm gonna get there and let's see what happens, you know, because right now I'm recording with just my phone. Let's see what uh, what type of uh, videos I can get with just my phone, right? With, with footage. All right guys, take care and I'll see you soon.
All right, guys. So uh, I just want to show you that I caught a bunch of shrimp. Uh, it was probably well over 100. I already cast out like 50 times, lost 50 or so <laughs> shrimp. Um, but I did catch a, a couple of reds. Um, and then I did get a bunch of perch, which I'll show you. I actually got a, caught a croaker. Um, and I cut that up. I'm going to save it for later. I cut them into little pieces. Some I'll keep a little bit bigger. But I'm going to go for uh, bigger fish later. So, yeah. So I can't wait to cast these out. I only have uh, two rods up right now. And it looks like I'm getting a little bite over there. You probably can't even see the bobber. But it's bobbing up and down a little bit. Um, so yeah, Let's see if I can catch a little bit more small fish and then I'll go out there and get some bigger fish. We'll see how that goes. All right, so I just got this red. I tell you, I'm gonna need a freaking GoPro because uh, I can't catch the action with this freaking camera. Well, my phone basically. So it's a good size red. Uh, looks like it's gonna be about 24 inches or so. Let me get my measuring tape out of here. scale. This trusty little guy. Alright, I'm gonna pull this tape measure. Twenty oh just under twenty-five, so yeah we'll say it twenty-four. <laughs> right there, yeah. So we're over twenty-four. This is I guessed. It's a keeper. And I wasn't going to keep any fish today because I had so many fish that I kept from last time. But you know what? This is a red drum. I haven't had one in a while, so I think I will keep this guy. Alright, so I'll be cooking this guy up later. Well, tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, so we're at the jetties. We're really not that far in. in the... Look at that. We're so close. I was just saying that we're at the jetties and we're not really that far out. And uh, we got this red. 24 inch red. And look at you. Oh, <laughs> <brother>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, so I got me another red drum. It is, well, there we go. The ruler's a little back. But you know what? Good enough. You can tell. It's up there. And it's all the way. There we go. About 37 inches again. Caught a 37 inch two weeks ago, and here we are again. For all I know, it could, it could be the same guy, you know? Because <laughs> it's the exact same spot. That's so awesome. Hey guys, so uh, great day of fishing today. Uh, Port O'Connor went to uh, the jetties and then went to the pier um, so at the jetties i caught that uh, 24 inch almost 25 inch uh, red drum and then went over to the pier for, just for a little bit i mean i swear i was there literally a total of 10 minutes and uh, i had tossed it in it was in the water maybe five minutes because it took me about five minutes to set up and then within five minutes i had that other drum um, i wasn't sure what it was yet you know i thought maybe it's a shark uh, maybe it's a red drum i didn't know and I was hoping it was, and sure enough, it was. And these other guys that were there, they thought, oh, maybe it's a black drum, because you know, they couldn't see the dot. And from the distance, uh, we thought it was a small one, but man, they just kept fighting and fighting and fighting. I was like, man, what is taking so long? Um, and I was fighting for a long time, finally brought him in, and I was like, holy smokes, he's huge! Because <laughs> the distance between the pier and the water, you know, is a little more uh, further away. Uh, so I had to climb down the ladder and pick him up. Oh my god, he was quite heavy, um, but it was a lot of fun pulling him in. You know, he's just running off, pulling drag. Uh, so now I realize I need to get myself uh, an action camera of some kind, whether it's GoPro or, or something else, and so that I can actually record the actual action because that was really, really fun. Um, to, to see it and then having to climb down and get it, I think you guys would have enjoyed that too. Um, man, I, had a, I think I took two attempts to actually bring them up. I had to get down there and got actually a total of three attempts <laughs> to bring them up. It was tough. Um, 
but man, I, so I measured him. Uh, I didn't get to uh, weigh him because I didn't want to hurt the fish, you know, but if I were to estimate, it's definitely somewhere around 30 pounds. Um, but gosh, so next time I'll definitely have a uh, action camera with me, uh, an action uh, camera, and have it on me somewhere and, and set it up so that you guys can see everything that's happening, okay? So sorry, this is the first video. I uh, hope you guys forgive me, but I look forward to recording a lot more fishing videos uh, and just sharing the fun with you guys. All right, take care and have a good night.